Hi guys, my name is Rohan and I welcome back to my channel. As you may know, Snowflake is getting popular these days for uh, cloud data warehouse. So I thought I'll make a couple of videos so that everybody gets benefited. Right, so with that note, uh, let's get started. Uh, a Snowflake is a data platform provided as software as service, which means Snowflake is a SaaS product, which offers us the faster processing, easier configuration and uh, very flexible when it comes to data processing like processing huge volume of data or uh, data processing for real-time analytics and so on. And Snowflake uh, provides us native SQL architecture for cloud-based data processing needs. Okay, and Snowflake uh, is available on uh, AWS, Azure and Google platform as well. And when it comes to essential, please note that there are no primary keys or foreign key constraints in Snowflake. It does not enforce any such data integrity at database level. If you have to um, apply these data integrity, it has to be done on the ETL layer or in any other application level. And uh, it, it supports DDL DMLs such as uh, creation of the table, altering or dropping of table or when it comes to DML, uh, inserting, updating, deleting the data and it supports asset transactions and uh, you can run uh, analytical queries such as aggregation windowing function or hierarchical you know queries so they're all supported in snowflake and if you have any external tools or application you can connect to snowflake using either a jdbc or a odbc drivers so that makes us easy for any connectivity from any other uh, applications externally apart from that um, snowflake has got its own web ui uh, using which you can interact with the database, write your query and uh, perform data analysis. So apart from that, you can even do that uh, using uh, CLI. So CLI is nothing but command line interface using which you can uh, script out all the uh, Snowflake uh, statements, uh, put it in a script and you can further use it for any automation purposes. So apart from CLI, you can even uh, make use of external uh, SQL client in order to connect to Snowflake and perform any data analysis. And here are some of the unique features of Snowflake. Uh, the first one being the uh, scalability when it comes to uh, storage and processing. These two uh, aspects in Snowflake is decoupled, which means you can expand your storage without uh, even needing of, you know, expanding your processing power. So processing power when it comes to uh, storage and processing, it's more or like, you know, disk is our storage and CPU is our processing. If you have more data which is coming in, you can just simply increase the storage area, but you don't have to increase your CPU power. So that way of, you know, decoupling architecture is provided in the Snowflake. And when it comes to uh, performance, uh, there are no indexing, tuning or partitioning needed. Um, the developer has um, uh, no, they don't have to worry on uh, working on performance tuning uh, because Snowflake engine itself will make sure uh, the query is executed efficiently on the cluster. And uh, Snowflake is available uh, pay per use and you just pay for the compute you use and uh, for the storage you uh, consume. So let's say you have 10 terabytes of data. Uh, you just pay for that uh, storage uh, under the storage pricing uh, terms and let's say your query is running only 10 minutes you just pay for that 10 minutes of compute power so compute is our uh, cpu uh, or a virtual machine or a virtual server so you just pay for that um, only during your query execution so that's the uh, good thing about uh, snowflake and this is one of the unique feature and here are some of the use cases. Uh, so let's say you have, um, you know, you're working with the data sources such as some of the OLTP database applications, any APIs, or even a web data log, or even if you have IoT devices, you can uh, collect the data or extract the data in a batch mode or in a streaming mode and uh, load the data into Snowflake. Right. Once the data is uh, loaded into Snowflake, uh, the data consumers like any reporting uh, such as an operational reporting, uh, real time analytics, all those things can be done directly from the Snowflake database. So as I previously mentioned, uh, Snowflake is available in GCP, AWS and also Azure. 
and within snowflake uh, these are uh, the variety of uh, use cases snowflake can be used as a data warehouse uh, it can consume data from data lake even if you have any data engineering uh, requirements you can use it uh, it is also used for data exchange or data sharing with other applications and uh, if you have any external applications or even for uh, say you know data science if you are applying any data science modeling uh, you can very well do it within uh, snowflake i know there is a lot to learn in snowflake uh, to understand how it works what is the detailed architecture and uh, some of the hands-on using snowflake database and how do we connect uh, external applications to snowflake to do like data analysis and data processing so let's do that uh, more learning on my website which is uh, talentpro.com and also i got uh, my mobile app on both uh, google uh, android and also ios so make sure you download the app for uh, a lot of you know free resources and uh, downloadables and uh, along with that i got uh, two different courses one is uh, the talent for beginners and there is another course on talent real time projects so i'll be adding more and more videos on snowflake you can check out my app and then uh, enroll for the course to learn more